Hello. Let's just change that angle. Oh dear, oh dear. So I need to get this angle sorted because it's all like floppy. I need to sort this thing out. I don't quite know how to actually. <laughs> all right. So you push it forward a little bit and then it goes too far. I'm not entirely sure how to fix this. Okay, that's no good. Try a little bit higher. No. <laughs> if you're here, say hi. Uh, I'm just pontificating. Let's go a little bit higher then. If I sit back a little bit, I'm still cutting my head off, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Let me just try and sort this angle out. The angle of the dangle is very important. I don't actually know what the lever is that, that fixes it in place. Right, let's bring it down now a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that, but then maybe do that a little bit. Let's get the trusty laptop out. Okay, am I looking at the right thing? I think so. I think I'm looking at this this laptop. Cookie Monster's here. Hello, Cookie Monster. We wanted to ask you, do you think Zerjoff Naxos is sexy? I think it probably is. It's pretty, um, well, it's kind of gourmand, but it's got that little bit of tobacco. It's... Richard is not too heavy. I, yeah, I would say Naxos is pretty sexy. Tara agrees, Naxos is sexy. Toppy Turp says good evening. Oh, hi Toppy Turps. Boing, boing, boing. Scott's here, says hey Claire, hi Scott. And we've got Katrin here as well. Savita says hello from Guyana, South America. Hello, all, all the way over there, amazing. Let me turn the light up a little tiny bit. How's that? Hmm, not sure. Not sure. It's bright though. <laughs> um, Kevin from the States is here. Hi, Kevin. Forever Farang. Hi. Dion is here. Love your blouse. The colour suits you. Thank you very much. John is here. Hi, John. Scott says, looking beautiful, Claire. Thank you very much, Scott. <laughs> John, all the way from the northeast colliery coast, covered in coal dust, I'm sure, John. But did you enjoy your tatties or taties for dinner? Oh, Tina's here, the critical Virgo. Hello, Tina. Thank you for coming along. And Chris is here. Simon is here. Rich Mitch, I like that top. Thanks, Rich. Um, okay, right. If you're watching and you've said hi, say hi. Uh, drink of the night. I have got some gin. It is it's Whitley Neal's Palmer Violet Gin with Slim Lime Tonic. Uh, this is my third one and it's my last one. we don't want excess now do we <laughs> and Brendan's Brendan's here hi Brandon <laughs> Craftomatic good evening good evening and as your hello looking fab cheers from Ireland hello as your a will the WAFs release be available to the US I think it was as part of the crowdfunding thing, you if you ordered it in time, you could have had it to the US. And from looking at the latest update, you just need to wait a while and then there will be more released a bit later on. I'm pretty sure it will be in the US. Uh, Tina says you should do a drink show with Max Huesler. He posts all these fancy drinks on his Facebook. My drinks aren't actually very fancy. They're in a fancy glass. But all it is is gin and tonic. No, not even any ice because I've run out. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I buy ice. Oh. 
can't find those bags that you uh, make ice with. So there you go. Joss is here. Um, hey, Joss. Uh, Brandon missed out on the crowdfunding, wants a bottle. Oh, Lizzie Bean's here. I can't see Lizzie's comment. I can just see um, someone saying hello to Lizzie, but I can't see Lizzie's actual comment. Maybe I've blocked her. <laughs> Obviously not. I'm looking at the wrong. Let's look at the proper live chat. Okay. Right. Okay then, so what am I going to do today? Let's talk about, this is kind of a last minute off the cuff live stream, just, I don't know, Netflix wasn't really getting me, I, I just wasn't feeling it, so I thought I'd go live instead, and I'm kind of in inspired to talk about Delina Exclusive because Lizzie Bean sent me a decant, I have a small decant here, and I'm wearing it tonight. I've been wearing it for a couple of hours, just removing one of my hairs, they get everywhere. Um, I've been wearing it tonight for the last few hours and I'm actually really impressed. So far, I've not fallen in love with Parfums de Mali. I'm a little bit skeptical, if I'm honest with you, because some of them are a bit similar to other stuff. They are quite fond of their aroma chemicals. They're quite expensive and they are often sitting on hype trains and all of that, chuck all that together and I'm a little bit skeptical. But uh, the one that I hadn't tried, or actually I hadn't really tried, I don't think I've tried Delina. I've got a, a dupe now, but I hadn't tried Delina. And, but the description of Delina exclusive did get me intrigued because it does sound like a gourmand rose fragrance just sounded lovely sal's video on it and lizzie also talks about it quite often and i was really intrigued so lizzie sent me a decant of delina exclusive and i gave it a little sniff the other day not a proper wearing i think i did i think i went on skin but i didn't do a full wearing i just did like a little bit on a wrist and tonight i'm really enjoying it actually um, right, let's have a look. So, quickly we'll look, see who's talking. Rich Mitch got quite a Rissy EDT today. Wow, Rich, 200 mils as well. That's a nice little find. Um, <laughs> Toppy Terp says, has your interest in fragrance ever caused the people around you to get into it too? Yes, uh, uh, absolutely. Um, so, for example, my manager at my job, has become a frag head because of me um and lots of my friends are a bit more into it not necessarily like fully into it but a lot more into it because of me so yeah it does i think it's one of those infectious things i'm sure that everyone that's really into frags kind of get people around them into it Katrin, can we do scent of the day? I've been wearing Santal blush. Yes, do share your scent of the day, everyone, or scent of the night, or whatever. And you know already I'm wearing Delina exclusive, but I do have a couple of different things on my wristy cuffs, so I might go into that in a bit. But um, yeah, share your scent of the day or night. And... Uh, Tara says Santal blush is gorgeous. I wore Kerosene Winter of 99 today, very nice. A Tina, Critical Virgo, wasn't a fan of Delina. I have to be honest, the dupe that I tried the other day, I really like the opening. Obviously, I don't know how close it is to the original, but the rhubarb and this dry woodsy note in the dry down bothered me. I'm not sure if that's what bothers you, Tina. Let me know what it is that you're not particularly enjoying about it. Chris wore Chanel ah, A-H-S-E-E, -E, Allure Homme Sport Edition, doesn't quite work, Allure Homme Sport Extreme, maybe, <laughs> maybe, and Scott wore Chris Collins Harlem Night, I'm really curious about Chris Collins fragrances, I've Joe Voy carries them, so I might sample them at some point. 
Uh, Moody Boo has done some really great reviews on Chris Collins and um, yeah, I'm quite curious to try them. Jon Snow says, my scent of the night is Jazz Club and By the Fireplace and Whispers in the Library and Killian Eternal Oud. Are you being a bit greedy, John, with all of those fragrances? Indiesense says, hello, hi Indiesense, nice to see you. Hilary's, Hilary's here saying hi to everyone. Savita hasn't found uh, their favourite parfum to Miley either, but haven't tried Ex Delina exclusive. This might be the one. Yeah, I mean, if you like a gourmand, if you like a rose, then you may well enjoy it. I'll tell you about my experience with it in a little while. Uh, just checking your comments. <laughs> Katrin says she might have a little bit of whispers on as well. I'm I haven't worn whispers in a little while and it's out it's out there and I can't wait to put it on again because it's I guess where it's quite hot and stuff. I haven't really worn it, but now we've got colder weather, I'm definitely gonna thoroughly enjoy whispers in the library. Rich Mitch says it's always nice to convert people to the hashtag scent life. Hashtag scent life. Cookie Monster's wearing Fan Your Flames off of Nishane. And Lizzie says, I've been wearing 100 Silent Ways today, wear it most days lately. Just love it so much. I need to retry that. John did send me a, a small decan. I need to retry it, but it wasn't for me. I don't know why. Is it, it's like, um, is it Tuberose fragrance? Which strikes me as it wouldn't be for you either, Lizzie Bean. But, um... Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Hills is fresh from the shower. Don't have anything on yet. What should my scent of the day be? Are you naked, Hills? Um, Hilary, wear that Wonder Woman scent that you bought off of um, House of Siage. Just get all bougie and throw it on. Sal, did I hear my name? Not quite sure what you mean, Tara. Uh, Joss. Da, 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 da. Oh, Francis is here. Hi, Francis. Happiness Sparkles is in the building. Uh, Tina's wearing Bois Naufrage by Pierre Guillaume. Don't know that one. Which is a great thing about getting large bottles of scent is that you can lava yourself in it. Yes, definitely. I love that. Drown in frags. Um, yeah, Sal, I was just talking about your, um, your talking, your review of Delina Exclusive and your unboxing first impressions really got me intrigued and then uh, Lizzie was kind enough to send me a decant and that's what I'm wearing and I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. Leo, hello everyone, he says. And Nisky Bisky says, hi Smurfy, I'm wearing Grass Dorient, thanks to you. Oh, did you get, what, have you got a sample or have you got a bottle? Let me know what you think. Rich says, Hilla is naked. <laughs> um, and uh, that, that, um, what do you call those letters? The, all those letters meant a little home sport of extreme. <laughs> And experiencing fragrances. So Amina's here. She says hello to everyone. Hi Amina. Um, Katrin's telling Hillary to wear Love Tuberose. And Amina's wearing Remember Me by Joe Boyd. That's a really nice one. Nice Franchi Pani tea type scent. Toppy Turps. My job is keeping a busy supermarket clean from COVID for six hours straight. Blur the Chanel EDP because it's punchy and spurs me on. That stuff is punchy, that's for sure. Caboose Juice says, I'm feeling the decolletage. Thank you. <laughs> and Francis is wearing Givenchy Hot Couture. I need to retry that. I had a miniature and I didn't really give it much attention and then I gave it away. So I do need to retry Hot Couture because it gets a lot of love. Egar from uh, Pixie and the Notes. If you don't know her, you need to go check her out. Egar from Pixie and the Notes is a fan of Hot Couture as well. Savita, I blind bought it for half the price awaiting its arrival. Um, which one was that? I'm, I'm losing the plot here. Um, Sal, oh my God, Claire, I love your top, by the way. It's so nice. Thank you very much. And Krista 
says, I thought you preferred moans in the library, but whispers is good too. I like all different sounds. It depends on my mood. <laughs> and uh, Leo is wearing Histoires de Parfums, 1899. I don't know what that is. The thing with Histoires is because they're, they're years, I can't remember what any of them are. Uh, Joss says, hey Claire, your top is lovely and the necklace is killer. Thank you so much, Joss. Wonder Woman is, says Heels. Heels is going to wear Wonder Woman. Heels, tell us a little bit about it, please. Curious about that one. Uh, Nigel's here, just popping in to say hi, can't stay. Have a good one. Thanks, Nigel. And Tara's got to go and have some dinner. Oh, yes to me, Niski Piski. Um, Niski Piski got the bottle of Grass Dorian, which is, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's my bottle. This is the one Niski Piski is talking about. And yes to me is the other one I really liked actually, which is a, it's like a really lovely natural uh, citrus on top of a beautiful vetiver. And um, that's the one that Niski Piski is also talking about. So I think we have similar tastes because I thought that was an excellent fragrance. Uh, Lizzie says, yeah, Claire, 100 Silent Ways is the only tuberose I've ever fallen for. It's more about this marshmallow caramel and tuberose seems to balance it out beautifully. I will give it another try. I will. Um, Hilary says, love tuberose. It's been my signature most of the summer. I'm not really a tuberose fan. It's funny, isn't it? There's a lot of us that are not fans of tuberose, but you sometimes you find ones that you like. So um, it's not here, but the one that I like is from, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the Italian lady, Giovanna Antonelli, and it's the, six, I think it's the 611 Intenso. It's like a beachy tuberose. It's absolutely gorgeous, but the tuberose isn't really blousy and like, tits in your face kind of thing. It's calm and mellow. Uh, Sal is wearing Armour Club de Nuit Intense Woman. Uh, and Savita's talking about Delina Exclusive. So Savita got a deal on the Delina Exclusive. Very nice. And it's a beautiful fragrance. And Katrin's just got the... Uh, are we talking about the Love Tuberose, Katrin? Oh, Cherie's here, the top note. Hi, Cherie. And 1899 off of Histoire's is Hemingway. Okay. I'm trying to keep up with you lot. <laughs> and, I, and all I'm doing is keeping up with you and I'm not getting on with, with the stuff that I was going to talk about. But I hope you don't mind. Um, Niski Piski says, Angelos is lovely to do. Isn't he a dream? He's an absolute darling. He's an absolute darling. Uh, Cherie says, hello, hello, finally made it to a live, can't stay long, have a friend coming around for brekkie, how lovely, I hope you have a nice breakfast Cherie, some, hopefully some carbs and maybe some syrup, something sweet and some butter, <laughs> let me know, <laughs> Rich Mitch says, public service announcement, someone sent me a healthy sized decant of dear man, anonymously, please identify yourselves, okay, <laughs> wasn't me, Tina says, haven't tried exclusive, but the original were found to be boring for the hype. I like the light sheet and tartness, sourness. Rose was nice. This fragrance fell flat, average, nothing special. Okay. I think I, you hear that, and I think I smelt it in the shop, and I wasn't that excited either, but I haven't given it a full wearing. Any luck on the Kismet by Luban, uh, Lizzie? Yeah, I did try it on, oh, so it was this arm. I remember it being on this arm. I quite liked it and really nice, rich, irisy type fragrance, but it needs proper wearing really. But yes, so far, thumbs up is probably one of my favourites that you sent me. Um, I really enjoyed wearing Virgil though, and I remember I put Virgil, I, I put everything on actually that you sent me on all different parts of my body. And the Virgil I specifically remember putting there. And I love how rich and beautiful that vanilla is in the dry down and it how and it really lasts and it's really quite strong that's the sylvain delacorte virgil uh tony's here hi tony 
And the fragmentation's here. Where's your sweetie? I love her. She might be under the chair. Oh no, she's like she's literally that way. Sweetie, come here then. Come on. She's coming. She's running. She's running. Come on in, baby cakes. Come on. You wanna come up here? Come on. Come on. People want to see you. Come on. You know? Or yes. What are you gonna do? Come on in. Quick. Come on. I have to move the laptop out of the way. Come on then, babes. Just show you off for a second. No? No. She's just down here. She's not entirely sure what she wants to do. I don't want to force her. You know what cats are like. Uh, Katrin says, oh, here she comes. Katrin says, oh, hello. I've been on a tuberose kick. Come on in. Been wearing, she's doing that on the seat at the moment. <laughs> Stop it, sweetie. Been wearing narcotic V a lot. Remember Claire calling it a cougar fragrance. Did I? Oh, okay. I can't remember. Uh, let's have a little look. What are you saying? Sal's just going to make a cup of tea. Okay. See the most, Sal. And Lizzie says, Virgil, something special, rich vanilla, leather, sage, love it. Yeah, it's really interesting because that kind of like um, sage, that herbal stuff in the opening keeps it interesting. And then I think the vanilla in the dry down is beautiful. It, it feels like there's natural vanilla in there and it's really, really nice. Oh, yes. Nisky Pisky says, I like tuberose, I have fracas, a kind of flower has been on my buy list for some time. Tuppy Turp's back in the morning, going to make a coffee. Scott says, mine's two sugars, Sal. Cookie Monster, you have to use reverse psychology. Oh, what with the cat? Sweetie, do not come here, I don't want you here. I don't want you here, don't come up. <laughs> Rich Rich says, it's been really cool the last few days and warming again. Got a feeling it's going to be cold winter though. I'm finding the night's really cold already. It, as soon as it goes past about five, six o'clock at night, I get like a chill. I had my jumper on earlier. Sweetie's a cougar. Come on. Sweetie's not a cougar. <laughs> Uh, Fragmentation says, I love tuberose and Givenchy linted it. I really don't get on with linted it, I have to be honest with you. I have a memory. I didn't I didn't like it when I tried it in the shop. And then I remember I was back, I was back when I was a member of a gym. <laughs> she didn't last very long. Um, and I'd been swimming and then I went into the changing room and the changing room stank of this linted it. Someone had clearly sprayed it in there. And I just have found it horrendous. I'm really sorry, but it bothered me immensly. <laughs> but it's just it's just your own perception of stuff, isn't it? Uh, to me, it's, it's obnoxious. Um, but that's just me. Right, okay, let's smell some stuff. So what we're here to talk about, let's start off with Delina Exclusive. So I think I'm going to spray that. What have we got there? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go on skin... Freshly with the Delina exclusive. Here we go. You can see? So shiny. So when I first sprayed this the other day and again today, I and I said it to Lizzie as well, is it reminds me of a Montau fragrance. It's it's a bit like Intense Cafe, or it might even be a bit like I think there's one called Roses Greedy which is a gourmand rose fragrance. It's very much like Intense Cafe without the coffee. And um, it does remind me of that. It's a, it's a pretty rose, but it's quite sweet, backed up by quite a lot of vanilla. And I guess it's a little bit synthetically sweet. Just because It's just because it's so sweet, it makes you feel like it's synthetically sweet, if that makes sense. But actually... And it's, it's kind of, um, I find it a little bit soapy, but it's not, it's not completely soapy. Like it's, I think because it's sweet, so it's, it's like soapy and sweet at the same time. 
and fresh. So it feels like there's a little bit of a tart red fruit thing going on and a touch of a tart citrus going on. So it starts off fresh, but a little bit heavy at the same time and a little bit soapy, but also sweet and marshmallowy. And I like marshmallowy. Marshmallow is a good thing, but it does remind me of Montel Rose fragrances. But once it, and that's, it's all good. It smells good. But then when it calms down on your skin, it starts to change and it feels a little bit more complex, a little bit more exotic and I'm trying to bring it up, <laughs> bring it up from here. Sort of a little bit incensey, but also a little bit Turkish delight. It's really nice. Yeah, if I had a bottle, I, I probably won't buy a bottle. I'm not going to go that far, but if I had a bottle, I would definitely wear this from time to time. It's quite pretty. And sometimes pretty fragrance. I, I like things to be a bit pretty, but I also like to be, I like them to be slightly balanced with something a bit more exciting, something exotic or, you know, something. Incense. But this feels like it has a little bit of incense, but it's mostly quite pretty and then a bit gourmand, a bit more than a bit gourmand actually. Um, but it's 100% the best Parfum Stamali I've ever smelled. I would definitely wear it if I had a bottle. When I wanted to be pretty, I'd probably wear it for nights out. It's like the perfect Valentine night fragrance, perfect date night fragrance. It's extremely girly. It's because it's so pretty, so pink. It's so pastel pink. Um, just quickly checking your comments. Right. Oh, Robert's here. I can't, I'm not sure if I can see all, all your comments, but Robert's in the house. Hi, Robert. Good to see you. Um, Tony says, yes, very girly. Love the bottle too. Yeah, I always wanted to actually fall in love with one of those Parfums de Mali, just so I can have the bottle because they're so, so pretty, especially the pastel pink ones. Sal says the new Armani My Way is quite heavy on the tuberose for tuberose lovers. Yeah, I'm not excited about that one. <laughs> not feeling that one, I don't think. Um, where Robert is, it's cold. Weather's a month early as usual. Um, it's October, it starts to get cold. Dion says I've been wanting to try Pegasus since it's got an almond note. Dion, honestly, Pegasus to me is a bit like Lamel, if you just took the the smooth musky almondy aspect of Lamel and just like cut that away from the rest of Lamel, it's kind of like that. It's nice, but I wouldn't be writing letters home about it if you know what I mean. But test, you know, test it for yourself. That's just me, my taste. Okay, right. So yeah, so basically, I'm just really surprised at how much I like Delina Exclusive. That's really what I wanted to say, is it's surprised me. It's better than expected, way better than expected. I don't get any, I mean, the as I said, the opening is kind of synthetically sweet, but it's not that I can specifically pick out things like Ephol Maltal or Ambroxin or any of those synthetic notes. It's just that it's very sweet so it's not like yeah it's 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 really nicely done actually and then the dry down i think give it an hour and it just gets better and better on the skin so i'm super super impressed touch a touch on the soapy side the opening i think just a touch for my taste a touch too soapy but it, it definitely calms down and the more gourmandy stuff comes through so yeah Delina Exclusive is actually getting a thumbs up from me. 
And then another surprise, um, another turnaround over here is I can be a bit harsh about Baccarat Rouge 540. I've talked about it a few times, mentioned it in passing in various videos, and generally my consensus is yes, it smells good, but it's a bit on the synthetic side, it's a little bit common, and it's a bit too sweet, it's slightly annoying. I've said all of these things and more, and this, I, I don't, okay, I'll tell you what happened. So, yesterday. I found the very, very bottom of the sample that I had of Bois d'Armond, which is Van Cleef and Arkles. And I was on the fence about buying Van Cleef and Arkles Bois d'Armond. Of course, it's uh, Woods, Almond Woods. And I reviewed it on my channel. And I was very much, I really like this. I don't know if I need to own it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Then I wore it again and felt like I really do want to own it because I feel thoroughly enjoyed wearing it and then at the bottom of a bag I found that sample and it had this tiny 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 little bit in the bottom and I stood there for what 20 minutes maybe not 20 minutes I stood there for about five minutes squish 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 trying to get the very tiniest last bit just to remind myself and eventually I got a little spray out on my arm and I, I really really like it and it does remind me of Ariana Grande's cloud. That was the first thing that came to mind. This is like Ariana Grande's cloud, which I actually find really nice. And that's another one that Lizzie sent me a decant of. And then I kind of forgot about that. And then I kept on just smelling that tiny little bit. And I was like, oh, this is so nice. I want more, I want more. So when I went to bed, I decided to go for my, I've got two samples, Baccarat Rouge 540, EDP and Extract. So I went here with the Extract and here with the EDP because I was craving that similar scent. And actually Bois d'Armond is in a same, a similar vein to the Baccarat Rouge's. And of course it must be because it does remind me of Cloud. So that makes sense. So I was just literally craving more of that. And then I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna go on with the, I wasn't, it wasn't a conscious thing. It was like, things just clicked together in my head. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna spray Baccarat Rouge on. And then they're, they're, they're slightly further removed. I'd say Cloud is closer to Bois d'Amon than Baccarat Rouge 540. But that's what the subconscious thing did. And it made me spray extract EDP. And I went to bed and I was like, actually, this is really good. And um, I've got the extract on here now again. And I went to bed and I was smelling the extract and the EDP as well, which is not there anymore. Um, and I was really, I was enjoying both, but the extract really gets me more. I think it's the, it's a bit more almondy. It's a little bit more rounded. I don't know. It's just to me, it's just that bit better. And then I wore it to bed and I kept smelling it and I woke up today and I could still smell the extract and I was like, do you know what? This shit is good. <laughs> this is actually really good. Yes, it's synthetic, but it's so damn good. I get it. I, it's, it's like it's finally clicked. I get it now. I really do. Don't get me wrong. I ain't going to buy it. Well, maybe if someone was selling half a bottle cheaper than retail <laughs> maybe i would maybe i would because it's so good i love the art i love the almondiness of it i actually really enjoy that the sugary the burnt sugar the ugh, even the synthetic woods it's quite addictive it really is quite addictive so i've done a bit of a, a turnaround on baccarat rouge i'm not going to slag it off anymore <laughs> Amina says, I'm still trying to figure out Baccarat Rouge 540. I feel like I'm missing something. I plan to revisit. Yeah, just keep revisiting every now and then, um, Amina. I may, like, yeah, it's, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's quite similar to lots of other stuff in many ways, although I feel like Baccarat Rouge probably did it first. But it's just good. It is good. 
and Scott can't even smell back at approach 540 so <laughs> wasted on him um, it's vastly overrated says Rich that's what I've always felt and I, I, I still think that way there is better in actual fact I would still choose Van Cleef and Arkles of Bois d'Armond over it and I did enjoy Cloud by Ariana Grande pretty much probably more than it but um, that extract is is really good that kind of like peppery I guess it's a saffron it's sort of like sweet spiciness of it yeah um, extract is a little more spicy says Tony John says it's too damn bloody strong for no reason <laughs> top note Sherry says I like the extract better than the EDP but uh, dollar signs yeah it's very expensive I'm not saying it's worth the money I think there's so much better out there so much more exciting stuff out there like we were just talking about uh, Grass Dorian. Indie perfumers are coming out with amazing things, crafted with high, high proportion of natural, expensive, rare, special ingredients for much less. And so, you know, hands down, I would choose Grass Dorian over Baccarat Rouge, but it's almost it's almost like now I was having this conversation with myself today. You know how you have junk food, sometimes you just want to consume a Burger King or a McDonald's and you know that there's no value in it whatsoever. You know there's no nutritional value, you know that it will do you more harm than good, but it will satisfy you immensely for 20 minutes. I feel like fragrances like Baccarat Rouge 540 are the junk food of the fragrance world. And fragrances like Grass Dorian and uh, 4160 Tuesdays, they are like your superfood, vegan, uh, locally sourced, ethically produced superfood salads. <laughs> but really good though, because <laughs> salads are shit. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, uh, Tony says, honestly, Claire, get 013 and move on. You won't regret it. Is that a Rosa Salas? I may even have, if it's Rosa Salas, I might even have a sample already. Um, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, Robert says, there's been many clones of it. Everybody sniffed 50 different versions. People like you forget about the original. Um, Salad. <laughs> Hi Benjamin, says salad. Uh, and Francis wants some roasted curried potatoes. <laughs> Katrina, what about the low carb ones, Claire? Uh, yeah, good point. Maybe they're like the water, watery, <laughs> watery, boring fragrances. The watery, generic, boring ones. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, I'm thinking about doing a video like junk food equivalents of fragrances. Which Mitch, there's nearly 50 people here. Yeah, what the hell are you all doing here? God damn you. Have you got nothing better to do? <laughs> Nisky Pisky says, yes, yes to me is like macarons from Ladere. Oh, I need to retry it. Oh no, do you know what? I'm mixing it up. Yes to me. It's a different one. I was thinking of, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I'm thinking of a completely different one. Yes to me, it's got uh, florals in it, isn't it? It's, um, I can't remember, Ylang, or I can't remember, but I need to retry that one. Tina says, I agree, keep decants of perfume junk to enjoy on occasion, won't commit to a full bottle, just like to visit from time to time. I think there's a call for, there's a call for junk perfumes. And, and when I talk about junk perfumes I'm not talking about them necessarily being cheap or um, bad just maybe slightly highly dosed in sugar or slightly highly dosed in ambroxan not really any particular specially special ingredients but they give you that instant hit of something that you find addictive or 
I don't know, it sorts out a craving for you or just smells massive, massively massive peeling. So I would put La Belle from Jean Paul Gaultier in the category, like that was my number one obvious choice junk food fragrance because it's super sweet and it's very synthetic but it's highly addictive just like McDonald's or <laughs> KFC hot wings oh my god I love hot wings but it's it does that it's like it's an instant gratification so that's that's my junk food perfume hot wings yeah John Hot wings are good. <laughs> right, so we've done um, Delina. I've talked about Baccarat Rouge. So the next thing to talk about is our wafts from the loft. So I've only really tried these. They arrived yesterday. I did uh, one spray of one of the concentrations. So I've got the Parfum and I've got the Eau de Parfum. And I've only done uh, a spray of each on my arms yesterday for a, a short amount of time. Today my brother's been round. My brother is um, really good at filming stuff. He makes like uh, music videos and he makes beats, he makes music, he's a producer and he's just really multi-talented. He's brilliant at producing films and music and editing and he's really technical. So he's filmed a video for me and that's going to be up later on my channel. And I got him to try Wasps from the Loft and we went on his arm with the EDP. And my brother's got, he's, he's definitely got his own taste in fragrance. He's got a good little collection of, I'm, I'm guessing he's got about 15 or so, 15 or 20 bottles. He knows what he likes. He seems to like vetiver. He quite enjoys the, the DNA of Creed Aventus. Um, he likes, I guess he likes things that are quite woody, quite masculine, and he really liked uh, the waft from the loft. So I've got that now on there, the EDP, I'm going to read you the notes. So when you do these crowdfunding things, you get a lovely note here or letter with lots of information. And I'm just going to scan for the notes. Right. It contains so these aren't exactly notes but it's actually a list of what it contains or some of the things it contains which is different to notes there's actually 42 materials in the fragrances but different quantities in the different concentrations so she uh, the EDP has more of the light green garden accord less of the amber the parfums more concentrated and deeper and some of the uh, ingredients are rose, osmanthus, tobacco, tonka, labdanum absolutes, buchu, I'm not sure what that is, divana, Virginian cedar, styrax, frankincense, apoponax, oud, this has got real oud in it, oakwood, artemisia, magnolia leaf, white birch, black pepper, and then we've got some of the Synthetics listed as well, Hedione, which is the one that's very diffusive and smells a little bit like jasmine. Multiple musks, Timber Silk, which I believe is uh, very similar to Isoe Super. Vera Moss, I think that is uh, Vetiver, I'm not sure, it might not be. Um, Sed Ramba, which I think is an amber thing. Ambrox S. I'm guessing that's going to be a bit of an Ambroxen type of thing. Cis 3 Hexanol, no clue. And Aldehyde C10 and Indole. So, oh, I get every single thing. <laughs> of course not. To me, it's mostly woods and resins. That is the, the most, um, the biggest thing that I get from the opening. And it's almost like furniture polish as well, but in a really good way. And when I first smelled it, I felt like it had hay in it. Now this one is, when, what did we spray? The EDP, I think we sprayed the EDP. When I sprayed it on skin, it smelled like hay. Really 
outdoorsy, kind of savoury. It reminds me a little bit of Tobacco Rose from Papillon Perfumery, which has also got hay in it. Um, and it also reminded me of Chez Noir from Bido, which also has hay in it, which is why I felt like it had some hay. It's got that kind of like, but it does have this lovely dry, dry woods. Yeah, like not natural woods, not chopped down trees, but woods that's been worked and made into furniture. Not necessarily finished, not necessarily varnished, but worked in some way. I think, yeah, now you can just kind of get a touch of, of that garden type accord I feel like Lizzie would like this because it's actually reminding me a little bit of burnt cedar rainbow doves. It's not quite as smoke, it's not really smoky. I guess you could say there's just the merest hint of smoke. But yeah, I, I, I would say it's like burnt cedar rainbow doves light. It's like not burnt cedar rainbow doves, it's dry cedar rainbow doves. <laughs> yeah, because it's almost like there is that sweet element. But there's no major, there's no major sweetness here. There's no sugar, there's no, I'm not getting any vanilla. I'm not getting any, any caramel, any kind of gourmandy stuff. But there is a sweetness that seems to be coming from the woods themselves. And stuff. There's definitely lots of stuff going on in here. Oh, Joss is off. Night, Joss. Mm. And this is different on skin. I feel um, on skin. I feel like it came off a bit differently. Like made like more hay like. This on paper doesn't really smell hay like. On my skin, it's not hay like. It's not very sheepra. Um, so very savoury, very brown, and I don't mean uh, when I say brown, usually because I love colour, I love colour, and I'm not a fan of brown, beige, nude. Well, actually, I like a nude, but <laughs> um, usually brown to me is not a good thing, but it smells brown in a very natural, like a pile of autumn leaves, like a pile of brown autumn leaves in a really good way. Natural, very natural, outdoorsy, brown, savoury. Yeah, so that's the EDP. And then we'll, we'll do the parfum. I'm not expecting to tell you that there's much in it because they are at the end of the day. Or was that the EDP? I don't know what I sprayed. <laughs> um, Craftomatic, Claire, I have to go to bed for an early call for work in the morning. Thank you, enjoy your evening, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa, sleep well. And Brian's here. Hello, everyone. My dumbass thought Claire wouldn't start until 10 minutes from now. I'm here. Okay, so I have no clue what I was just smelling, whether it was the parfum or the eau de parfum. I thought it was the eau de parfum because we were saying that my brother had tried the eau de parfum. So I'm going to spray the parfum. But at the end of the day, they've got exactly the same materials, just in a slightly different concentration. So it's not like we're really going to be picking out much <laughs> difference here. So it kind of is different though. <laughs> um, so weirdly, this is the parfum. Weirdly, this is coming off a little bit boozy. Uh, now, um, it's not listed and I'm sure it would be if it was in there, but it's reminding me of there's a cognac absolute that Sarah uses. It's reminding me a little bit of that. I don't think it is that. It's not quite as rich as that, but it's reminding me of that. 
Yeah, this has got so this is different despite the fact that it's the same materials. Is something's changed in here. What's it reminding me of? Hello, sweetie. Are you coming in? Come on, you little bugger. Um, it's, it's kind of coming off a little bit medicinal in a good way. It's like a spice, like an anise, a little bit, and yeah. This is. 100% reminded me of something specific. Oh, I know what it is. Chamomile. I don't know if there's any chamomile in here. Um, when I, I learned, I, I did a very short course on aromatherapy and we did um, an aromatherapy massage course. It was just a brief thing. Um, and we used uh, different aromatherapy oils and I had some chamomile and this smells a bit like chamomile. You may know chamomile from chamomile tea if you haven't experienced the oil. I don't think chamomile was listed. Um, and I certainly didn't pick it up when I did the eau de parfum. But I've lost a bit of paper. But this, the parfum, is smelling a bit like chamomile. Um, so that's interesting to know that the different concentrations uh, certainly in the opening notes are different even though it's made of the same materials so yeah overall though definitely have um this kind of brown, natural, outdoorsy, ever so slightly smoky, dark resin, like lab, you can tell there's labdanum, but it's not full on heavy labdanum. Maybe the labdanum will come, usually labdanum isn't too obvious in the opening of fragrances. I find I get it in the dry down more and I really enjoy labdanum in the dry down of fragrances. Um, is a, kind of like a fresh incense scent to it. Fresh, slightly mineral like. A little bit of a, a sweet, slightly green esque smell but mostly it's brown it's earthy it's fairly dry but not complete not dry not dry to the point that you need a drink i don't like really dry perfumes i never have i can't get on with anything too dry this is not too dry for for me too dry is eau sauvage parfum that really dry galvanum makes me gag for a drink immediately. This is on the dry side of things, but it's not too dry. Okay, I think that's enough of wafts. And I think that, what, was that everything I was gonna talk about? Yeah, I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. So if anyone has anything else to say, speak if for now or forever if hold your foulest peace. Otherwise, I think it might be my bedtime. Yep. So thank you everyone so much for joining. And... Oh, Tara, I just want to say that you look ravishing, Claire. Thank you so much. Um... um Tina says, has sweet dreams. John, that was good, Claire, a nice unexpected quickie. Well, we all love a nice unexpected quickie, don't we, John? 
Brian, miss most of it, start over again, please. <laughs> do you know what, Brian? There's this special technology that's gonna just cover you for that. And all you have to do is click the button and it will start right from the beginning. And I can be fast asleep while you're watching. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh Shane, what did I miss? Just got here. Sorry, Shane, just just finishing now. Yara, hi Yara. <laughs> Scott says hit the like button, guys. Thank you, Scott, for that. Oh, here comes Sweetie. Look, you come to say goodbye. Are you gonna get all your fluff on my top? Are you? Oh, look over here. Look over here. We'll get Sweetie to say goodbye. Oh. Uh, Brian says, I'll watch you in your sleep. And hashtag not creepy at all. <laughs> oh, Barry's here. Hi, Barry. Just literally just saying goodnight, Baza. Um, Francis says, always a pleasure to join you and the great bunch of people. Uh, thank you, Francis. Always lovely to have you here. Udu Pantograph. Definitely watch the rest of this. Glad I caught the last bit. Thank you so much. I'm just going to give you a little bit of sweetie. And then we are going to say goodnight. So come, come here then, baby. This way. Come on. Here we go. Is she, oh, no, she's not really feeling it. Oh, she's not feeling it. No. She's not feeling it. She's now completely covered me in her pussy hairs, <laughs> which is um, always annoying. Thanks, everyone, so much. And I will see you soon.